Hey everyone, welcome to Five Star Guns and Gear. And today we got something special for you. I got some stuff in. We're gonna actually do a little build, uh, actually more less an assembly. This isn't really a build. Um, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Got some of this over the holidays, some of it come in today. And we're gonna go ahead and assemble this. And I'll kind of walk you through the steps of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. I decided I wanted to uh, build me a new carry gun. and. I was just gonna go buy a Glock and just kind of deck it out. And uh, I've got a couple Glocks and I don't have a 19 right now. And I was really wanting something about that size. And I've been looking at Palmetto State Armory at their dagger series. And this is a Glock clone, guys. Ordered this dagger from them. Got a really good deal on it. And it is a complete lower, so we don't have to do anything here. But I am a Glock certified armor, so. I can tear this down, no problem. Most people can. And Glocks are so simple. And uh, this is no different. So uh, they do have a little bit different grip angle, I think, just slightly. I mean, it's pretty darn close. The grip is, is different. And uh, the overall feel and everything, to me, feels a lot better than a Glock. So this is going to be our foundation. And it's ready to go. And what I ordered for it is a complete slide kit. We'll open that up. Got 10 magazines in. And here's one of them. It's a mag pool. And it's for the uh, Glock. And then we got the uh, slide assembly. And that's all built in the U.S. Palmetto Set Armory, they build uh, a lot of their stuff in-house. And then I decided I was gonna go ahead and put a red dot on it. Um, and this, we went ahead and got the hollow sign. This is HS407A3. And it has a three MOA dot. It's got a, two different modes. And this has the shake away uh, feature on it. So we're not going to go ahead and do the rating system on all this stuff today. We're going to go ahead and get it assembled. Later date, we're going to get all this out. We're going to go over everything. I'm going to give you a rating on all this. So I normally do the uh, five-star rating, but we're not going to do it today. But we are going to do it. I'd like to go ahead and take all this to the range and test it out and then go ahead and do the rating after that so let's see here let's go ahead and take a look at our slide assembly it is a complete slide assembly and guys i already did take this out and uh already took a look at it and i'm pleased with it overall uh there is one issue with it and i'll show you in a minute it does come well packaged and the only thing they did have this uh not box actually they did have it boxed but they didn't have any bubble wrap around it but you know it wasn't a big deal um the issue that's in here wasn't caused by any packaging uh but i'm going to show you what i'm talking about in a minute now this particular one is the psa dagger r mark stream carry cut slide assembly it's got these beveled sides and it's got the uh, slide serrations, the cutouts and the slide here to lighten it up. I did go ahead and select one with this threaded barrel and the uh, suppressor height sights. And these you'll be able to co-witness with, so if you wanted to. Really nice slide. And y'all might already seen the issue with it. I'll show it to you real quick. Now, some of this, like this right here, that's just reflection of some oil and stuff. But when you flip it over this side, that, that, and that is all the way to the metal. And it's in the recessed area. So this didn't happen in shipping. Actually, there's a little bit right there. This was happened, you know, probably during their manufacturing. Uh, after they had everything coated and everything, 
I'm sure it happened sometime after that before they got it actually packaged up. And it's not bad. It's, it's very minor. I sent them a picture of it. They're very responsive. Uh, they offered to go ahead and exchange it for me. Problem is, you know, I really don't want to wait. They said it's probably going to be about a two and a half, three week turnaround process. This was out of stock for a long time. I had to wait on this for about uh, three or four weeks at least before they got them back in after I ordered the frame. Because at that time, I was going to order this, but there's out. This is the one I really wanted. And uh, I really don't want to go through that process. You know, so they offered me 20 bucks uh, since it was blemished to give me a credit because I buy stuff from them all the time. And that's fine, you know. I really didn't care about that too much. They, I wish they'd do a little bit better quality control they say they do you know and they probably do this one just got through and it is what it is and guys i i would probably normally send this back but i want to get this build done it's not that big an issue and uh, i could re it if i wanted to that wouldn't be a problem now uh that 20 bucks isn't going to cover uh cerakote kit but uh 40 bucks would, but you know, sounds better than nothing. And I, I think it's going to be fine. Other than that, everything is really, really nice. Really well made. Got your stainless guide rod. Go ahead and take this thread protector off and this is the first time I'm disassembling this but it's like any other Glock so it is not that difficult I'm catching the ring guys give me just a second I'm not want to mess with that because I don't want to mess that O-ring up. Anyway, if that O-ring was on it, it'd go ahead and slip out. Anyway, you can pull it apart just like your standard Glock. Um, but looking at the machining and everything, it's really, really done really well. So I'm very happy with it overall. It does have the RMR cuts right here. And I don't know, it should have come with the plate. So give me just a second. Let me look in the box. Maybe I missed something. Or maybe it's in the bag and I just didn't see it. You know, I pulled this out and I didn't see it earlier. And I didn't think about it. But I'm pretty sure that it was supposed to come with a cover plate. If not, I might have to call them back about that. Uh, you know, they're real responsive. I've had really good luck with them. Uh, I'm not affiliated or anything with... Uh, Palmetto, you know, I might become one. Uh, that's something that you can do. And I've been happy with them so far. Anyway, I think that looks pretty good. I think this is going to make a great build. So let me go ahead while it's on my mind. But yeah, there's something in here. All right. Here we go. Well, the screws are in here. Yeah, I think the mount's in here, too. Now, we're not going to put this on because we're going to put the hollow sun on. However, it go on just like that, guys. Pretty simple. You guys, you're probably not going to pick up a whole lot from this today. Because uh, it's not a full build. You know, this is kind of more what I consider assembly. But I just wanted to go over everything real quick. And we can put this together pretty fast. So let's just do that. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, optic real quick. Very nice box. Ooh, hold on. Classic cover here. Let me get this set to the side. Got your manual, and hopefully, let me look, because we're going to need to torque this down, the spec, 
may have to look it up online, guys. But hopefully, they have the specs, the torque specs on here. And uh, it's probably going to be anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds. It's what most of these optics are. And let's see here. right here let's see tighten the 15 inch pounds okay so we're going to tighten it to 15 inch pounds when we get it on a little qr code let's see what's in the box guys silica pack lens cloth we'll put that to the side let's see what else we got Mounting screws, additional mounting screws, and we've got a little uh, star bit here, so torque spit. All right, star of the hour right here. I don't know if it's already got a battery in it. We probably need to find out before we get started. Sorry about that, guys. It mean to. hit that but uh it may not have a battery in it so i don't know if it takes a uh 2032 if it does i have plenty of those if not I may have to find out what battery it takes i don't see one in there maybe i need to see if i'm trying to activate this and turn this on correctly i'm just kind of holding it up in the air here trying to see if i can get it to activate and it's not so give me just a second here guys i'm gonna hit this on pause i don't want to tie y'all up let me look and see how we need to turn this puppy on and see if we need a battery for it i'll be right back with you okay guys i'm back had a little issue the battery doesn't seem like uh this battery has enough voltage, I guess, to power up. I don't know if it's just set a while. It is a hollow sun battery. So, you know what? I don't mind having an Energizer or Duracell. I think I'd feel better with one of those uh, reliable batteries in there. So, I stuck it in. And give me just a second here. Pods the side down. Go ahead and put that back together there. And we're gonna go see if we got some some power to this. There we go, guys. And this is the shake awake. So you can see it dim, and then when it turns off, now I don't know if I mainly turn it off. I haven't read that far in the instructions, guys. Sorry, I busted my knuckle, guys. So yeah, I got to look at that. I know it's supposed to memorize the last settings, but maybe you have to have it on first and it goes off and then it'll shake a week after. And I'll read up on that a little bit more, guys. And gals, sorry. And we'll get it figured out. Anyway, I'll put the uh, screw back in there. I will put just a hair of blue uh, thread lock on here. Because it did have some, I'll show you that. Should be able to see the remnants of it there. So they do put that uh, on from the factory. Which they should. So I'll go back and put that on. And we got a good, good battery in here now. So that is good news for us. 
I think it's going to have to go off by itself before you can shake it back. So I think we're going to like that. All right, guys, let's move on. Let's go ahead and I did take the barrel out. I was going to show you all this barrel. Went ahead and took that O-ring off. Looks good inside, a little bone dry there. We'll oil it up before we put it together. Put a little oil right here on these ears, these rails. And that's about all we're gonna do. Now guys, uh, make sure when you oil and lubricate, do not lubricate inside this firing pin channel. You can use some dry lube on that uh, if you need to but don't put oil in there it's just going to attract dirt and it's going to, it can cause you issues down the road so give me just a second guys next step what we're going to do is we're going to mount this let me go ahead and put some thread lock on this screw right here let's put it back in and we're going to torque this down to 15 uh, foot pounds we'll figure out which uh which one of these screws we're going to have to use. Now these already have a sealant on the thread, so we're probably not going to have to do anything. We're not going to have to use the, the thread lock on these. Let me just kind of check these threads. Sorry guys, can't hold on to anything. These look like they're the same. Now some of these have thread locks, some of them don't. It looks like they gave us various screws for the different slides and stuff. Again, here's the cover plate. We're not gonna use that. We're gonna just set it to the side. And there's some various size screws in here. So I'm figuring we're gonna go with these right here, but we'll see. All right, let me get my thread locker got Permatex, you can use Permatex, you can use the uh, Loctite, I usually have Loctite, but I do not have any Loctite right, right now, I don't have it today, so we're going to use this Permatex. When we do a more in-depth review guys, I'll show y'all how to use this uh, optic, but right now, we're just going to get this sucker back together. Already got a little on there. That's all we need. Yeah, there, guys and gals, there is a gasket on here, so make sure you don't lose that gasket out of there that keeps it watertight. Okay, that should be good there. All right, time to mount this. Go ahead. Set it down here. You got two little ears here. They're going to mate up right here. And then you got your two mounting holes right there. That should align with that if everything is done correctly. All right, guys. We got everything set up here. Use my Wheeler little uh, fat wrench here. And we'll actually pull this and we'll adjust this to... 15 pounds. And we got this at 15 inch pounds. All right. Guys, I highly recommend you torque things down properly. 
one head i'm probably going to use the extension i may be able to get away with not using the extension i prefer not using the extension on any kind of torque wrenches or any ratcheting device like that that when you torque stuff down so let's go ahead and get these started i'm going to start them with the tool they provided And then we'll switch to the torque wrench. Guys, bear with me. I'm going to have to sit down here for a second where I can actually look instead of looking through the camera to do this. There we go. All right. Now we're going to take our torque wrench. Make sure I got this in view. And that's it right there. Put this extension on there. See if they give me a little bit more reach. There we go. All right, these are torqued down to 15 now. We can just double check everything. Okay, there we go. So this is handy to have, guys. These are a little bit expensive. You can pick them up at Harbor Freight, not this particular Wheeler one. They're about, actually, believe it or not, about 80 bucks at Harbor Freight. Or you can go to, like, Academy, pick these up, or Amazon. They run about $60, $59 to $69. Very handy to have, very good to have with scope rings. Guys, always go off what the manufacturer says. Uh, Believe it or not, people don't realize scope rings, the manufacturers will tell you what to torque them to, and they are different specs depending on the manufacturer. If somebody tells you uh, torque uh, your scope rings to 25 to 30, well, you know, that might be proper for the rings they use, but if you're using something different, it may not be correct. So always refer to uh, the manufacturer's website. All right, guys, this is how she's looking. I'll put some oil on it and uh, move her up. And then we're going to put it back together. We'll seat that O-ring back in on in a minute. So give me just a second here and we'll reassemble. We're pretty much done with this, guys. I know this has gone a little bit long. This should have been a five-minute project. However, uh, ran into a couple of issues. Guys, uh, I use various scan oils, but I've been using this Lucas probably for about, I don't know, four or five years now. I've been really happy with this. If you haven't tried it, you might consider trying it. It's pretty good stuff.
Guys, I'm gonna just set this out of the way for a second. The way I can get to that slide, do what I need to do there, and then we'll move on to assembly. Might as well go ahead and grab this. <sighs> Has a little dust in it, I don't know why. I do know why. I was doing some work in my gun closet, my gun safe. I got some cedar walls. And I bet you that's a little dust from that. So I kicked up a little dust the other day, doing a little project. And that's all there is to that. That's all we need to do right there to that lower. Put that frame down. We'll go in here. Again, guys, do not put oil in here. We will oil the rails real light. And you can oil in here as well. All right. Give me just a second here. I like to go ahead and set that barrel in there. You can see where there's some oil right here. So this is gonna show you where you're contacting. I'm just taking a look. Everything looks good. And you don't have to use a ton of oil, guys. That's about all we're going to do to this. I do like that uh, the daggers have the stainless guide rod and capture spring. Of course, the Glocks have a capture spring as well. Uh, but on your Glocks, you have plastic guide rods. They have a hole in the center. You can actually put a stainless steel rod in them to reinforce them. Uh, that's something I used to do in my gun shop when I had my gun shop in Texas. And uh, a lot of people like to have that, that done. Just makes that recoil rod just a little bit more rigid. And you can't get any easier in assembling a Glock, guys. There we go. All right, let's go ahead while we're at it. Slip this O-ring back on. Put our thread protector back on. We'll make this up to the lower. We'll test that side out again. And we should be fine. Have some nine millimeter snap caps somewhere guys and i don't know what i've done with them i've looked they're usually in my workbench drawer right here 
Got my 22s. Uh, I don't know where they're at. So we're gonna forego that this video. I'll find them. And then we'll probably be ending this video. We'll wipe this down. We'll just test everything out. And like your normal Glocks. All right. No bullets in there. No bullets. Lock back correctly. And let's make sure this red dot is still functioning. There we go, guys. And that's a three MOA dot. Change the intensity. And let's go ahead and just power it off. It says they have 50,000 hours for a battery. But hollow sun. I don't know guys, put better batteries in these, let me get this little wipe down, got a little oil, it's not going to hurt it, but there's a thread protector on. And next thing to do is go test fire this at the range. So that'll be coming next. We'll have some video of that. After we test fire this, run this uh, optic through its paces, we will do a full review, do a review on everything. Probably won't do a review on the mags. These mag pull mags probably run flawless in this. If we have any issues, I will bring that to your attention, but I've always had pretty good luck with mag pulls. So. I think we'll be fine. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. This is how she turned out. And that's going to be one of my carry rotations. I actually like the way this feels. It's feeling really, really good. Next thing is find a holster for it, I guess. All right, guys. Guys, if you're subscribed, certainly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed still appreciate you thanks for stopping by please consider subscribing there's a little bell notification if you click on that that'll let you know when we're putting out new videos new content we're gonna have some more of these uh, videos build builds and stuff like that uh, we do have an ar-15 coming up i got a 70 in the works uh, now that one we won't have a full video on but i'll show you some hopefully some before and afters we're going to do a little seracote education on that Sorry guys, my cat decided to come in here and bother me. Uh, she, she tends to do that. She likes to see what I'm doing. Anyway guys, uh, so please stay tuned. Check us out. Please comment, that helps uh, the 2A algorithm and uh, keeps us going. Certainly appreciate it. And until the next time guys, I will catch you on the next episode. Thank you.